Hello, my name is Tim Downey. I'm a functional consultant with Western Computer. Today we're going to cover our final installment of the loads, shipments, and waves scenarios where we discussed manual and automated functionality in managing loads, shipments, and waves. In this final segment, we will be manually consolidating loads. In this scenario, we've got multiple sales orders from multiple customers that will be created into a single load. Moreover, multiple loads will be consolidated into one. So to make this scenario plausible, I've created several sales orders for a couple of different customers. We're going to start in the load planning workbench. In the sales lines tab, you'll notice that there are several lines needing to be assigned to a load. Depending on your process in your warehouse, there's myriad ways on how you can manage these orders or sort them and assign them to loads. In this scenario, we're just going to go by city. We're going to say that my company has a daily truck that goes to San Diego and another one to Pasadena. Well, San Diego is south of Pasadena and Pasadena is south of me. So potentially I could get them onto one truck. But for the time being, let's assume that these are going to be on separate trucks. So I'm going to select my lines for Pasadena to be on one truck. And I'm going to click New Load to create that new load using my 20-foot container template. Now once that load is created, load 43, you can see down here, we're going to do the same for the San Diego items. New load. We'll use the same 20-foot container template. And now load 44 has been created. And we're ready to go here. We want to release these to the warehouse so they can be picked, packed, and shipped. So I've Notice that when I release them to the warehouse, the status changes from open to posted. Posted refers to the fact that a shipment and a wave has been created. The wave has not been processed or released. That would result in the load status of waived. Okay, so some time has passed in the scenario here, and the transportation manager has realized that there is some canceled orders on the Pasadena load and his truck is a lot smaller and he can get that load onto the San Diego truck. So he needs to combine these loads. There's a couple of ways that it could be done. One way is to simply cancel the Pasadena load, thus taking the lines back up to the load planning workbench, selecting them, adding it to the existing load. Or we can transfer the Pasadena shipment to the San Diego load. To do that, we're going to go into our shipments. And I don't exactly remember which of shipment 48 to 49 goes to which goes to San Diego. So I will look at one of the orders. And this one goes to San Diego. So we will take shipment 49, which is Pasadena, and add it to load 43. And to do that, we simply select the order we want to move to a shipment and go to transfer shipment to existing load. And we know we want to go to load 44. We should see 44 here in our list. Select that. And you'll see that Shipment 48 and 49, shipment 48 and 49 are all part of load 44. So now standard management processes will take place. We will need to release our waves, process and release our waves to create the pick work. Two waves were created for this, one load for these two shipments. So now that the waves have been processed and released, the work 
and pick lists are available to be managed. And so the warehouse personnel would pick, pack, and ship these and print any additional paperwork that is required. So that concludes our demonstrations on loads, shipments, and waves. I hope I was able to illustrate the function and the meaning of each of those concepts and how it relates to sales orders and outbound shipments. Just remember a very important principle in any automated feature is the fact that in order to run, you must first walk. And by walking, I mean understanding the manual processes and the components involved. And then once you fully understand that, then you are able to run with the automated process. Thank you again for your time.